What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a security analyst and college student. And on this channel, I'll talk about cybersecurity, college certifications and internships. And this video is gonna be a quick introduction to the new cybersecurity home my project. And it's just gonna cover the topology and pretty much what this project entails. So a while back, I started a project um, building a cybersecurity home lab and the whole goal was was to help people uh, who didn't have like a cyber, cybersecurity home lab to get a cybersecurity home lab up and running and help them learn about cybersecurity through like different tools. But as time went on, the project became still and redundant. So I decided to start a whole new project and this is gonna cover the scope of this new project. So um, just to kind of go over like the previous projects real quick, um, essentially had have a playlist here on my channel covering like introduction to the project building a host pc installing vmware installing pfsense basic firewall rules for pfsense dtp settings for pfsense installing kali linux installing ubuntu server installing Met metasploitable 2 and this is pretty much what the previous project covered but over time like i said the project became stale and redundant and i decided to do a whole new project so this is the new topology for the new project and as you can see on the screen um it's a little similar but there's a there uh oh there are differences uh, in this new project so starting from the left side we have our cali machine which is going to be our attack machine propagating like attacks against our victim network and we're going to have security onion as our ids um ips sim solution in all in one with kibana and other tools that security has security onion has and we're going to be using a span port in this connection to kind of get all the logs into security onion and definitely we have our pfsense which is going to be our firewall router dhcp server everything that's going to work as our network segmentator and just ensure that we have all of these networks up and running and how we need them in interconnected and on this side we have our victim network covering uh, majorly a domain controller and two windows desktop so I might make it one eventually, but it really depends on how I'm feeling, but it should be two. In the project I did, I did two, but depending on how, you know, how it works out, I might just end, end up having just one Windows device. And you know, over time, we might add like some Linux devices so we can get like a variety of different operating system flavors. And we can also have, we're going to have Splunk as well. Um, even though we have Kibana Security Onion as our uh, SIM, I also think it's really great to learn about Splunk. So I will definitely be adding Splunk um, and we're going to be using Splunk as our SIM as well. And uh, our hypervisor is going to be VMware. You can definitely use VirtualBox for this, but I have used VirtualBox in the past and it has failed me several times. So I decided to take the plunge and get VMware. So I recommend you getting VMware, but um, if you can, uh, VirtualBox is okay uh you're just gonna have to like i guess figure out how to like find your way around the network configurations but it shouldn't be anything too crazy to change and this is pretty much what this project entails and you can access this project from my website right here cyborgs academy all you need to do is just go to the blog section right here and scroll down and go to labs and this project is going to be readily available to you um i already i did all of everything you need to do for the project i have all of the screenshots going through each step of everything that you need to do for this project but this is going to be the video series so if you like want a more in-depth like explanation and each and everything that i walk through here definitely follow this video series because it's going to be a more it's going to be more in-depth uh, beyond just the screenshots that i have here for uh this project but if you want to just get started um you can definitely get started with this uh with this I'm, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description so you can just you know get started if you want to but the video series is gonna be a lot more in-depth and a lot more engaging beyond just like the blog that's covering documentation and screenshots and just like the steps so definitely you know try to follow the video series and I've shown you the topology and that the tools we're gonna be using so essentially uh, we're gonna be building a host PC I already did that so I'm not gonna be doing that but there's a link to that in my previous online project and I'll probably leave it in a playlist for this new project and also installing VMware workstation. I did that in the previous project. Um, as you can see here, those were like the first three videos. So right here, uh, building the host PC and installing VMware. So you can easily just re reference uh, that playlist if you want to go through that. Um, and all the specifications for the PC are listed here. You don't need anything too crazy. You just need like a good amount of RAM. I recommend like 16 gigabytes, eight, eight to 16. Um, if you can go like 
beyond that 3264 it just depends on you but the better the more ram you have the better it is for you so uh, moving forward, we're going to have PFSense for network segmentation and security. Security Onion is our only one idea, security monitoring and log management solution. Kali Linux is our attack machine. Windows Server as our domain controller. Windows Desktops configuring Splunk. Uh, we're going to also add um, Nessus on Kali. Uh, we're going to be learning about vulnerability scanning as well. And then Ubuntu, CentOS, um, Metasploitable, uh, Demvo, DVWA, VonHub machines uh, could also be added to the lab so we can like you know work through different scenarios and just make this uh fun it doesn't have to be really boring so that's the plan for this project i hope you guys follow this and i'm looking forward to this i'm going to be very consistent with this and i'll make sure to upload as uh, i'll upload the videos as um, consistently as possible and with short time interval so i really look forward to this project and i hope you guys get something out of this project so if you like this video please make sure to smash the like button and if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. And if you know anyone who this video could provide value to, please share the video with them. Um, share the playlist with them. And, you know, I hope this provides value to everyone. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.